It's Kiki Lawrence. You may remember me from my hit television series, Mama's Jewels. Well, I love to travel. And here we are in gay Paris. And when I travel, I always bring equality with me. Equality vodka, that is. For if we don't have equality, truly, we have nothing. Equality vodka. Purchase it today. So he said he would take me on as a client and asked me if I wanted to be on a soap opera. And I got really excited. And then nothing. No auditions, no jobs, no nothing. And then one day he called me into the office and dangled a really great part in front of me and said it was mine if I dangled a really great part of my own in front of him. Yeah, Larry was a lot more subtle back then. I said no. He said, okay, we'll be in touch. And that was that. I could never reach him again. And I couldn't get another agent because I had signed exclusively with him. And that's when I took the job as a receptionist in Dr. Dubois' office. Oh, Harold, I'm so sorry. I wish I'd known. I just wanted a shot, you know? And now I'm tortured by the thought that my entire life could have been completely different if I'd just done that one thing for him. No, no matter how things turned out, you did what was right for you. One concession would have turned into another, and then another, and then another, until you couldn't live with yourself anymore. Larry was wrong to put you in that position. Why do you keep him, then? Oh, he makes me a shit ton of money. <laughs> and to tell you the truth, I might not be the nicest person, either. I think I may have fucked up a few lives. I'm really sorry about all of this, Nicole. All of what? Well, yeah, I, I do miss Siobhan. Well, I think you should go home then. Really? Mm -hmm. You can go. I'll drive you home and then I'll turn myself in. This is really the stupidest thing I've ever done in my entire life. Freeze! <laughs> you diseased rhino rectum, put your hands up! You're under arrest, Harold. No, no, no need for that, gents. I just signed him as a client. Nicole, I missed you so much! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. I, I think I'm going into labor. Oh my god! That kid has a hell of a sense of timing. I'll call an ambulance. Wait! I'm her doctor. You're fired. Help me get her to the couch. I am Sue Evans with a neighbor. I knew something wasn't right about that man. He always seems so suspicious. So I'd go to over to his house to check things out because that's the right thing to do as a good neighbor. And I discovered the victim. <coughs> that poor pregnant woman. Are you all right, Nickel? I'm a Hollywood agent. I've dealt with bigger pains than this. I can see the head. Give me one more big push this time. <laughs> Whoa. Is everything okay, Doctor? Wait a minute. Why I oughta... Did you do what I think you did? Is this... My baby? <laughs> I am so proud of you, Carlo. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. You know, I sort of heard them call my name, you know? And they were all applauding. For me. But you deserve it. I couldn't have done any of this without you, Joe, you know? I love you so much, and I, I'm so sorry about what happened with Cliff. I know, and I love you too. I guess I, uh, I really won, huh? Yeah, you did. <laughs>
Congrats, kid! Congratulations, Carlo. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm, uh, I'm Carlo Prudente. Nice to meet you. Who was that? His name is Jake Hansen. He's a new up-and-coming actor. He's an asshole. And speaking of assholes, I haven't seen Francis all night. What is that stupid fucking bitch bit? Cheese and quackers? That's my roomie. Uh, We're dating. Uh, uh, he doesn't really know. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. My little girl. <laughs> oh, Lord, Crystal. Where is that stupid little mud of yours? I don't know. <laughs> My dear. Did I ever tell you about that time? Hey. hey. Oh. I have a reality show. Oh, congratulations. The Stimulation. Whoa. Whoa. Got milk? Whoa. Honestly. I'd like a vodka and tonic, please. Should you be tricky? It's good for the baby. It's really not. Well, it's good for me. Nicole, darling. Oh, you brought the baby. Congratulations. Thanks, Kiki. Oh, you're welcome. I heard about the kidnapping, and I'm just so happy that you got out of there alive. You know, it really wasn't too bad. In fact, he treated me very well. And he's right here. Harold, this is Kiki Lawrence. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Lawrence. Likewise. <laughs> and I loved you and Mama's jewels. So did I. <laughs> and these are detectives Latella and Hutchinson. I have all of Mama's jewels on DVD. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> oh, it wasn't for me. Oh, I'm so very sorry. <laughs> um, I'd like to introduce my fiancé, Travis. Aren't you? <laughs> oh. Married to Larry? Oh, that thing. <laughs> he has Victor now, so he doesn't need me. Well, congratulations either way. Thank you. Uh, Vodka on the rocks, please. How you doing, Kiki? I've had a very sordid life. Should go to bed. Oh, okay, sure, sure. You take me to my room. Oh, maybe you take me to bed, James. Of course, Alfonso, I'll take you to bed. Yeah. Okay. Let's go to Let's go to bed, you and me. Okay. It's <laughs> okay. good. Yeah. I love you, James. I love you. Let's go to bed. Go to the toilet. Go to the toilet. Go to the Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, um, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to close the door, okay? Okay. You? Bernie's bad bitches. <laughs> This party is so boring. Well, I'm actually having a good time. You would be because you're stupid. Go get me a drink. You're not old enough to drink. Who asked you? God, you're such an idiot. When I ask you to get me a drink, just get me a drink. Save this speech for someone who actually cares about your opinion. Now go get me a drink. Hi. Here's your drink. Mm, thank you. I saw your little fight. Are you and your boyfriend okay? 
He's such a tool. I don't even know why I'm with him. Why are you with him? Good question. What's your story? This is my story. There was nobody behind the bar. Who's this? The bartender, you idiot. God, you're the worst boyfriend ever! No! 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 I've been taking your shit for too long, and I'm not gonna take your fucking shit any longer! You're nasty and mean-spirited! You're a dumb, stupid, blonde, Bobby bimbo bitch! You're worse than your rotten fucking mother! At least with your mother, I was getting paid! No, I've had just about enough of you! I think you better get out of here. Wait a minute. Francis? What are you doing here? No! no. Oh, no, 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 no. You're oh, a disguise? No. Have you been calling this this whole time? Shh, keep your voice down. You're insane! Keep it down! See, I told you she's a fucking bitch. I don't ever want to see either of you again. You're both poison. Jeff, where do you think you're going? Gus, please take me out of here. You're on your own, girl. Oh, Francis. I see you've taken a job as a waitress since your awful show was canceled. <laughs> and you know what? You're terrible at this, too. <laughs> <laughs> You can embarrass me! You think you can humiliate me! I will get you all back! Oh my god. They'll regret making fun of me. <laughs> I've been trying to get your attention all night. Hey, Cliff. Hey, listen, I just really wanted to... Oh! Carlo, my boy, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> my husband's an Emmy Award-winning actor. I'm so proud. Yes, Carlo, congratulations. You really deserve it. What's that smell? Kiki, don't light that. I think I smell gas. Shut up. in the promise of America, equality and, and justice for everyone. If I want